Good evening, Bel Air Baptist Church. All right. All right, now they've got your attention, hopefully. I, this is going to be a really good night tonight, and I really appreciate everyone that's came out. We have some of the most uh, talented and gifted young people than you'll find anywhere. You got a little taste of that this morning, the song they sang when they opened up the service. And I'm really excited about uh, uh, being ministered to by them tonight, all the hard work they put in. So we want you all to be praying for them as they do the uh, musical, The Prodigal. I uh, want to welcome our guest. I know we have some here. We have several, in fact. And uh, at the end of the service, we're going to be baptizing Hannah Rutledge. Amen. Yeah. We are so proud of our young people. God has blessed us with the greatest ones around, and they're responding to the Word of God. And uh, so it's going to be a joy to see that. So we have a great night in store. Uh, we are getting ready. Uh, I'm getting ready to pray. I want to ask the ushers to come forward. And Gary, there you are. And as they come forward, let me remind the church tonight that this is a fifth Sunday. And all of our offering that we take up right now will go to our benevolence ministry. So the offering we collect tonight will go to the benevolence ministry. And I know that that's all that needs to be said there because Bel Air Baptist Church is very giving people. In fact, the uh, uh, luncheon that we had this morning was so extremely well attended. And my understanding is we raised almost $1,600 towards the floor so so God is good let me pray for the offering for the service and then we'll we'll get into it father God we just thank you for tonight thank you for all these wonderful people that are here thank you father for our youth and uh, brother Alan brother Tony that ministers to them so faithfully God we thank you that they could be running the roads they could be down at the beach there's so many things right the movies so many things that compete for the affections of our young people but Lord rather than doing that they are in church tonight not only are they in church but they are ministering for your glory so Father I pray that you'd bless the young people tonight that you'd give them confidence as they come that they will do this uh, musical drama with a great joy in their heart as they bring glory to your name and God we pray that if there's anyone here tonight that doesn't know you in salvation that through this uh, uh, drama, musical, that they would be brought to salvation in Jesus Christ. Father, we pray for Hannah, as uh, this is one of the most important events of her life tonight, being baptized, uh, Lord, following Jesus in baptism. God, I pray for her little heart, that you would bless her and, and her mom and dad and her family, and that this will be a very special time for them. So, Father, we thank you for this offering. Pray that as it goes to our benevolence ministry, that uh, it will be the aroma of Jesus Christ to those who need it. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
things have become new. How's it going? Hey, we're all going out for pizza later. Want to come? Yes. Just give me a minute. You guys go ahead. I will catch up. Hello. That is my youth group. Uh, it's, this, is, this is sort of where this whole story all began. Uh, this is where I became a Christian, where I met friends for life. Oh, and once I became a Christian, I just felt so free. It was so great. Not without problems, though, because, you know, some of my old friends from my old life, uh, they, they didn't really understand. And the more mi they misunderstood, that led to some confusion. Confusion led to some uh, ill will. And y you, you see where this is going, right? You do? Good. I wish you would have told me, okay? Because I didn't see it coming at all. And it just it was not fun, not pleasant. But, but you'll see. We'll just we'll go back a little bit and you'll see. I've texted him like a million times, and and nothing. He won't answer my phone calls or emails. I go over to his house, and his mom says he's not there, but I know he is. Girl, hate to tell you this, but he's breaking up with you. You think? Bailey, believe me, I get it. It's just something's wrong with Devin, and I'm worried about him. You're worried? Shouldn't you be, like, mad or sad or something, but you're worried? Well, I am. I was. Now I'm more worried than matter sad. What? Something's going on with him, and I'm really concerned. Wait, it's him. Madeline, sorry, can't talk now. Oh, brother. YF, your friend, Devin. YF? YF, your friend? Now he's calling you his friend? Hey, watch this. Bailey, what are you doing? I text YF Dev. Bailey, don't do that. This is between Devin and I. I'm sure he's got his reasons for not answering my phone calls or emails, ignoring my text and the door when I go over to his house, and now he's calling me YF? I'd show him YF if you'd let him let me text him. Bailey, don't do that. This is between Devin and and I. I'm just gonna work out for I'm just gonna wait for him to work out whatever he's got going on with him. I'll just wait. Whatever. Hey, I just got a text from Madeline's friend Bailey. Uh, yeah? She's pretty steamed at you, dude. Is this about not returning Maddie's phone calls, texts? Uh, she came to the door once. No, letters. it's something about you calling her YF. What? Oh! I called myself your friend. Is, is that a no-no with a girlfriend? Is that you not? actually did that? You you called her why? Wow. Th you should have come to me, dude. A pro with women. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> calling someone, calling a girl your friend is like saying she's fat, and <laughs> and not the ph fat either. Right. Live and learn. Right. That's that's okay. That's a hard one. But um. So you're breaking up with her? Look, I don't, I, I, yeah, yeah, I am. <laughs> Why? She's hot. It's, she's nice, don't get me wrong, it's just the relationship we had was a little too serious for our young age, and that was not, I, I, I don't know, I just, I've been going to church, I got saved. Well, that's great for you, but what does it have to do with her? Well, you know, I just, we've been talking about focusing your mind on purer things, on holy things, and that. Purity, holiness? You're not going monk on me, are you? You're not taking the vow, right? No, I'm not joining a monastery. I'm just saying I, we, I needed some space. That's it. We need, I need to focus more on God. <sighs> Great. What? Focusing more on God? That's taking the vow. No, it is not. Yeah, it is. No. Yep. No. Yep. No. Okay, Padre, have it your way. Richard, come on. Don't talk to me, St. Devin. <laughs> that went well.
doing. Homework. Homework. So, nothing much thinking about Devin. <coughs> Dev, YF, your friend. Get over it, Bailey. <coughs> Whatever. Idea how to get him back. Really? <coughs> really? Yep. his church thing and stuff. He can't be so conflicted about us if I'm on his religious team. I'm liking it. So what you gonna wear? Okay, so uh, I did not see this one coming. <laughs> Things do not look good for Devin here. Uh, so imagine my surprise when next week I show up to youth group and, uh, well, actually, I don't have to tell you guys this. You're, you're smart. You're, you're figuring out.
Devin. Madeline, hi. What on earth are you doing here? What do you mean, what am I doing here? I, I just mean you've, you've never been to this church before, ever, or any church that I know of. Well, that's all right, isn't it? I mean, that I came to church. Yes, I, I guess so, yeah. Hey, Devin, is this a friend of yours? Yes, this is the uh, friend, Ma Madeline. This is Jared. Jared, this is Madeline, my... Um... Friend, Devin and I are friends. Friend, yes. Hello, Jared. How are you? Great. Nice to meet you, Madeline. Oh, you can call me Maddie. All of my friends do. <laughs> well, uh, great. Glad you could come tonight. Oh, I love it. It's just the atmosphere. It's so uplifting. I just, I love this church. I like to come back sometime, if that's okay. More than okay, Maddie. Hope you can join us on Sundays, too. Oh, I love that. That sounds great. Hey, guys, my mom brought us some ice cream. Oh, hey, I don't think we've met before. Hey, Liz, this is Maddie, Devin's friend. Maddie, this is Liz, my girlfriend. Hi, Liz. It's so nice to meet you. Great, it's great to have you here. There's plenty enough ice cream, won't you join us? Oh, I'd love to. Thank you so much for your hospitality. It's just so refreshing. Well, good. Hey, I need some help with the ice cream. I'll help. Great, thanks. It's nice to meet you. Bye, Liz. Bye, Jared. Toodles. What are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? I, you are being very... Friendly? More than friendly. Devin. Can you have too many friends? I mean, you and I are friends. And if we're friends, then why can't we run our circle of friends with each other? I mean, those people are important to you. If they're important to you, then they're important to me. Really? Yes. Really? Yes, I've changed. Really? Yes, I've been thinking about a lot of stuff lately. And I think I need, I, I'm missing something in my life. And I think I need some religion. It's, it's, it's not a religion. It's about a relationship with God. That was literally what we just talked about in the service. You were, you were just in. Oh, a relationship with God. That's what I meant. I've never really had that kind of peace, you know, for myself. And I want that, Devin. I really do. Really? Yes, really. I've changed. People can change. I mean, you did, and what a change. I didn't understand it at first, but I get it now. Just, I get it. I believe you. Don't. Really? Yes, I want to have a relationship with God. I really do. Oh, and I think I'm ready to, um, walk down the aisle, you know? Whoa, hold on. What? What? Say, what? I didn't mean, like, marriage. I meant, isn't that what y'all call it? Oh, oh, that! That walk, the, the, becoming a Christian, that walk down the, that, that's what I thought you meant. Uh, wow. Um, you know, you know who's better at talking about this sort of stuff than me is my youth pastor. Where on earth is he? Uh. Oh, I'd love to talk to him. Now, can we go in there and hang out with all those wonderful people in there? Yes, can we please do that? Yes, we can. Oh, oh, and you, you should really call home. You're going to be a little late. I am I going to be late? Well, because I need to talk to your youth pastor, and you need to be there for moral support, and you need to give me a ride home after that. Why don't, how did you get eat? All right, I'll call. Just, the, the okay. People in the ice cream, they're in the fellowship hall. Oh, Liz, Gerald, I'll take you up on the offer for some ice cream. <laughs> Yee. Uh, so there I was. One foot boldly going towards a new life, and without me even knowing it, the other foot was being dragged back into the old life. The whole foot dragging, yanking thing, that got old. Uh, and it gets worse. You, you'll see.
to go with you and Devin the other night. How'd church go? It went real. Devin was really sweet and all. And? And, well, we had ice cream, and then he took me home, and we hung out. Ooh. Cool. Yeah. We just sat on my front porch for a while and just talked about us and stuff. So, that means y'all are getting back together then, right? We are totally back together. Richard, for the last time, we are not getting back together. <laughs> yes, you are. But that, that, we... You sat on, you brought her home, and after she came to your youth group, and you hang out with her, you brought her home, and you didn't go home, you stayed on her front porch and talked to her till what, you say, midnight? Yeah, but we were just talking. About what? About uh, homework and the uh, last season of Doctor Who and the previous episode of Phineas and Fer uh, fine relationships and stuff. I rest my case. What? Look, I. We, we just talked. It's... Yeah. Our, our relationship had gotten way too serious, and I, we, I, I said and. I, we thought, we thought. She agreed, right? Yeah, no, she totally agreed. We, we thought it was too serious. We need to give each other some space. That was. Yep. Y'all are getting back together. Okay, fine. <laughs> fine. But with different rules this time. With, you know, more stable and healthy. Healthy? I thought healthy was a young male attracted to a young female. What's the big deal? Uh, t t you know. Purity and stuff. Purity again. Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, that's great for you and all, but um, God didn't give you hormones to just ignore them, right? They're a gift, correct? I think you're sort of taking. And when He made man and woman, He made them naked, did He not? What? And they were naked, and they were not ashamed. I believe the Good Book says that. Richard, that's. Okay. I went to Sunday school once. And I have a Bible in my room, I think, somewhere. And whenever I woke up, they were saying something about that, and I highlighted it. I believe that. ever heard the story of a uh, frog in the boiling pot thing? It's not really like a nursery rhyme or a fairy tale or anything like that. It's some experiment someone did, for what reason I cannot fathom, but where they stuck this frog in a pot of water. And the uh, frog was just sitting there cooling his jets. What he didn't know was the pot of water was on top of a stove. And they would turn the temperature a little bit up, and the water would raise its temperature a little bit. And frogs, I didn't know if you knew this, actually adjust their t internal temperatures to the surrounding area. So they'd turn the water's temperature a little bit up, the frog's temperature would rise a little bit, and they'd turn it up, the temperature would rise a little bit. And it didn't end well for poor Frogger, I'm afraid. But uh, I was not doing too much better, honestly. <laughs> I really should have uh, hopped out the moment I felt the heat turn up. Hey, Devin. It's Matt. No. Who is this? This is Bailey. Um, that's awkward. <laughs> Anyways, I'm throwing a party at my house Friday night, and I was wondering if you want to come. No, my parents don't know, of course. Um, but they didn't really say I couldn't have people over. So, you and Mary are the first people I've invited. You want to come? Hey, what's up, Devin? I was just talking to my friend the other day, and he gave me a link to a website that lets you download first-run movies for free, and most of them are the steamy variety, if you know what I mean. Hey, Devin. Everybody's going to Bailey's house Friday night, and I would like you to come with me. What? No, I have to go. I told Bailey I help her clean up afterwards before her parents got home. What? have to. Will you please come? How would, it, how would I look 
if I went all alone. Yeah, man, this does look like your driver's license, doesn't it? But have a look at the birth date. Congratulations, man. Or should I say, happy birthday. You're 21 now. Oh, and look, so am I. Now we can get into that comedy club we've been dying to get into. And that's not the only thing we can do with these, you know. You know, it took a while, but within a few months, I wasn't even just living my old life anymore. I, w 
I was way worse off, way more into the bad stuff. I, I had long since quit going to church. I mean, I didn't want to hear any more about how much I had failed, about how far I had gotten from God. I just, I wanted to stop. I felt so bad about the guilt of everything I'd done. I just didn't want to feel anything anymore. And after that, it all started to crash. All rise. The Honorable Judge Thomas Decker presiding. First case on the docket, number 11273, the state versus Devon Robertson. Mr. Robertson, arrested for possession of a falsified federal document better known as a fake ID. You know that's a felony in this state, right, son? So, how do you think?
got community service at a jail time, so that was good. But I was in a prison of a different sort, really. One of my own doing. Remember that guilt I mentioned I was uh, trying to uh, avoid by not going to church? I uh, still had it anyway, and it was absolutely eating me alive. My friends, Richard, Bailey, Maddie, yeah, they all basically dumped me because their parents said I was a bad influence. Me. A bad influence. From there, my grades slipped. There's a point even when my graduation was hanging in the balance. Honestly, I was at the end of my rope. Circumstances have clouded his view. Lord, I lift my friend up to you. I fear that I won't have the words that he needs to hear. I pray for your wisdom, O oh God, and a heart that's sincere. Not yet. Still praying. Me too. Jared, you there? Wait. Text from Devin. Cool. Praise the Lord. Need to talk. Where are you? Doesn't matter. Meet somewhere. A safe place. City Park, 10 minutes. Are you in trouble? Now. Want to talk, City Park? 
Yes, 10 minutes. Yeah, he told me to meet him here at the park. No, he's not here yet. Yeah, I know you're praying. I'll let you know when I know something. Okay, bye. Psst, Jared. Devin? Is, is that you? <laughs> yeah. What are you wearing? I, I figured you didn't want to be seen with me. Might be a bad influence. I think I'll take my chances. Does that mean I can, uh... Yes, take off the beard. It's kind of creeping me out. <laughs> you know, I permanently glued this thing to my... Just... Oh. Okay. That... Ah. Ow. Thanks for meeting me here. Thanks for meeting me here, buddy. Yeah, sure. Like I said, whenever, wherever. I'll do anything I can, anytime. Okay, so on that note, could you think you could maybe pray for me? Yeah, I've been doing that. Really? I figured you would have given up on me by now. Felt like it a couple of times, but I still prayed. Dang. What, what, hold on, then how come God didn't answer your prayers? What makes you think he didn't? Are you kidding? The stuff I just went through was worse than the stuff I did before I became a Christian, supposedly. That's messed up! Fortunately for you, messed up is one of God's expertise. In fact, let me tell you about one of the times I messed up.
And so there you have it, my prodigal journey in a nutshell. It's not one I advise you taking, but uh, had to learn something. Uh, I did happen to make, however, one new friend during that entire ordeal. Weirdly enough, he looks like one of my old friends. The Bible, good book says old things will become new, and that's great. As for the girls, we don't know what's going to happen to them, but we're still praying and still trying to be their friends. In the meantime, though, I think they mentioned pizza earlier, and I have very strong opinions on which pizza place, so I'm going to go. Good night, everybody. Thank you.
Blasco has just really stepped to the plate, has been working with the young people, and uh, has been really, really doing a good job. We appreciate that. Um, strong message in that, that and uh, again, if there's someone here, that if, you, if it's helped you make a decision, you need to talk to the pastor, he'll be available after the service. Uh, we're going to sing a couple songs. We were actually going to end, but we've got to, oh, you're ready. <laughs> well, we're ready to sing at least one song. Why don't you do the baptism and then we'll sing how about how great is our, how great is our God? Can we do that? Okay. Yes, that's great. Well, good evening. Good evening. I have so much to say after that that play and drama music. I'll tell you the girls short before we actually do the baptism. Uh, welcome to the youth ministry. That's that's youth ministry in a nutshell where you have kids who come to know Christ and then just get bombarded and they don't know what to do. And there were some funny parts there, but I almost came to tears during the song, um, A Slow Fade. Because you just, you can see, it's all of us, not just students, but all of us, how Satan very slowly tries to attack from this side or this side. And it really, it's usually not drastic. It's a slow picking away at you and how many students fall to the wayside because of the things of the world. Um, students, I hope you realize when you, you participate in this play and, and you've been working on it for a long time, but what that really meant to have that slow faith. Because Satan is out there when we're going to serve the Lord. He's going to be on the attack. And we have to be ready. We have to ready <coughs> ourselves. So, congregation, let's pray that we rate ourselves, examine ourselves, because if we're going to live for Christ, we are in a battle. Hannah, as you are trusting the Lord, you got to get ready for battle. As I mentioned Hannah here, as Hannah comes down, come on, come down, Hannah. Hannah is coming, and it's kind of ironic as as we are going to celebrate the freedom of this country, that Hannah's come to be baptized because she is free from sin. Amen. She's found freedom in Jesus. And with that freedom, covered a lot of responsibilities, that, those attached we just talked about. But as Hannah, as you come down, we need to vote on Hannah. And she's come not only to be baptized, but to join this church. So if you rejoice with me in that, say Amen. amen. Steve, her, her dad's going to come down and actually baptize him. Well, Hannah, I have a few questions for you first as you freeze in this water, so I'll try to hurry up. <laughs> Do you understand that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God? Do you understand that the wage of sin is death, but the free gift of eternal life comes through Christ Jesus our Lord? Do you understand that, that God demonstrated His own love towards us, but while we're yet sinners, Christ died for us? And that all you have to do is call upon the name of the Lord to be saved. Hannah, have you called upon the name of the Lord to be saved? Well, my sister, let me move you up here. By your profession of faith, we baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, let me pray. Our dear gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, well, we've heard so much truth tonight. Lord, I pray that we take that truth to heart. Well, I do want to pray for Hannah as we just baptize her little guy that Satan will be on an attack. Lord, her flesh is going to try to swell up, Lord God, because she's a new creature and the old does not want to go away, Lord. But help us cast that away. Help Hannah cast that away. 
Lord, help our church, our, the believers in this place, Lord God, to every day to die to self. Lord, Paul said to live as Christ, to die as gain. Lord, he understood, Lord, that his attitude, that he was here, it was to live for you. Lord, but he understood there was something greater than this place. There was something greater than, than all the world could offer us, and that's being with you in heaven. And Lord God, so we thank you, Lord God, that Hannah will one day be with you in heaven, Lord, because of her profession of faith, because she trusted your son, Jesus Christ, as Lord and Savior of her life. Lord God, I pray that our church body, Lord God, raises itself. Lord, for the bow of the head, Lord God, so we can glorify your name. Lord, and we pray for this in, the son, in your Son, Jesus Christ's name, Lord God, the one who died on the cross for our sins, shedding his blood, being perfectly obedient to the point of death. It is in his name that we pray. Amen. Let's all stand as we sing How Great Is Our God. <laughs> the splendor of